Hello, Commanders, and welcome back to Elite Dangerous Journey Across the Galaxy. We are continuing on our way to Beagle Point, having left the bubble, traveled through the center of the galaxy, and uh, made most of our distance to where we're trying to go, it seems like. Uh, we have, what, one more sector? Uh, one and two more sectors to go, basically, before we get out to Beagle Point. So let's go ahead and get ourselves jumping on to the next thing. The purpose of this journey, for those of you who might be just joining us, is to work on our exobiology skill, to try to get up into the elite ranks for that, as well as making enough money by the time we get to the end of all of this to hopefully buy a fleet carrier and take up permanent residence out in the black. So let's go ahead, hop into the system. I typically, I'm trying to decide what the best way to get through these intros are in a way that makes it so that new people can jump in and kind of have an idea of what's going on, but then also, you know, not take forever to get through it and people are like, all right, I'm done with this video already. <laughs> so uh, I'm not really sure. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to just kind of ramble through different kinds of intros for the time being, just to see kind of what rolls off the tongue easiest and, you know, kind of gets us through it. I typically try to do uh, full-on individual scans. Oh, we have a water world in this system. I typically try to do full-on individual scans when there are, ugh, they're all far away. Well, that's not really gonna do much for me, is it? <laughs> all right. We're going to move on to the next system. I typically try to do full-on scans when there are 15-ish or less bodies in a system because it kind of provides me with a good balance between, you know, traveling towards our destination and also stopping to collect samples and things like that. <clears throat> I also won't travel more than about 10,000 light seconds to a body because it just takes a long time to get all of that done. And we're trying to be efficiency-minded. At this point, we have, well, I don't have any information. We had 80 jumps when we first hopped out of that system left until we get to our next waypoint. Um, we're getting to the point where, uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? <laughs> plotting routes. We're getting to the point where plotting routes is becoming more and more difficult because the stars are getting more and more spaced apart. It's 19 bodies in this one. Let's see. It's a water world and an Earth-like world here. It'd be nice if they're close enough. Nope. Well, the Earth-like world looks like it's close enough. Definitely go scan that then. See if we can find the water world. That one's relatively close too. Okay. Uh, let's see if there's anything else <clears throat> close in this system that might have some biological features in it. Because if there's an Earth-like world, there's got to be biology. Let's see, let's get scans here. Sorry, my... Oop, how many was that? One. We're looking for at least two biologicals if possible. Especially this early in the episode, I generally try to go for at least two. Oh, these are all 100 and, 100 and some odd thousand light seconds away. Yeah, so we're not going to worry about those. All right, so let's go ahead and head over to the one, the Earth-like world that we found. Move over in this direction. 603 light seconds isn't bad. Get the We'll do a full-on scan for this one. You can tell it's an Earth-like world because if you look at the little holographic rep, uh, projection on the left side of the planet, it looks like Europe. And it looks like Europe because the company who makes this is based in Great Britain, I believe. And of course, they're going to pick Europe as the representation of the Earth. <laughs> Let's speed up the process a little bit here. <clears throat> While it's great to have the uh, Super Cruise Assist on, it only lets, it only works at, in the blue range there, and that's not max speed. So we need to hurry up and get over there. We're going to scan this Earth-like world. We'll scan the water world over there, and then we'll move on to the next system since we didn't find any decent biological so signatures here. <clears throat> I'm going to try to speed this up by keeping it in the six-second range. As soon as it pops down to seven, we'll push it back up to six. Should allow us to keep pushing in as quickly as possible without overspeeding to the point where we're going to have to do a loop of shame. Not a big fan of that. Just going to try to hurry up and get to this planet so we can scan it and move on to the next one. I would imagine an Earth like world is probably going to take six probes. We'll see. Come on. Yep, six probes. So one, oops, one, come on. One. So back, the back of the planet, top, left, right, 
down and the front of the planet. And since we're not waiting on... Uh, since we're not waiting on that, we don't need to worry about... Uh, since we're not waiting to see what bacteria there is, or what kind of... Nope, that's not what I was looking for. Mm. There was a water world. Could have swore I saw a water world. Um, what did I? Oh, okay. I'm about to say, <clears throat> I knew there was a water world here. Get ourselves turned towards that one. Yeah, you don't. The only time we need to wait for the probes is when we need to filter out biological sources or geological sources or whatever it is that we're trying to find on a planet. Once you fire off the probes, you don't really have to worry about that too much. I'm not going to waste a bunch of time, uh, you know, sitting here trying to ramble on while we head over towards the planet. I'm going to do a cut real quick and then we'll be back when we're ready to scan and then move on to the next system. Here we are at the planet. Let's go ahead and get our scan done. Another six probe planet. I waited a little. I, mean, I was look, I was doing some research as I was heading over here, so I got a little closer to the planet than I probably expected. But it is what it is. Let's get this scan done, and we don't need to wait for that. Let's go ahead and get the next route selected with our select next away route. Wait, select next waypoint and route or destination and route hotkey. It's in the targeting section of your settings. I'll try to say that every time because people always ask and I don't want to have to repeat it in the comment. <clears throat> Alright. So yeah, I'm, again, I'm still trying to figure out a good way to find a fleet carrier near me so we can go sell our data and maybe hope... I mean, you never know. There might be some. There might be some somebody's fleet carrier nearby and I can go... Well, I, and the only problem is, is I need to find one that actually has the place to sell my stuff. If they don't have a bio, an exobiology station or whatever it's called, then what is it, Vista Gen Genomics? If they don't have that there, then I can't really sell my, my data there. So unfortunately, it's, all, it's also kind of dependent on them actually having something. Too many... Oops. What am I... Too many hotkeys. Uh, too many bodies in this system and no high-value worlds, so we're just going to go ahead and move on. <clears throat> what region of the galaxy are we in? Newton's Vault? Hop into Inara again and search for Newton's Vault region. Then I want to find. They allow me to just find fleet carriers, bulk cruisers, abandoned settlements. Get our thing done. So we're just going to scoop this one and move on. How are we... Turning all the way around? That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, we're doing some... We're doing some serious twists and turns, I guess, to make the route that we're doing. <clears throat> hmm. Telling me that the nearest stuff is 25,000 light years away. Yeah, I really need I really need an option that has. Oh, I wasn't paying attention to how many bodies there were in the system. So what does it say here? Thir pff, no. <laughs> Definitely not doing 32. Moving on. Okay, I'm not really sure. Station types, outposts, starports, surface ports, mega ships, fleet carriers. Here we go. Search. No, nothing for fleet carriers. Hmm. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm not sure that there's a good way to do that. Oh, I clicked in to re-highlight the window and it got rid of my <coughs> discovery scanner. Single body system, we're just gonna go ahead and move on to the next one. It's getting really dark. Like, there's not very many stars in front of us anymore. And the stars that we can see are all really, really small and dim. <clears throat> ah, here we go. Got a chance to actually get something this time. No biology on that one. Yeah, come on. Nothing there. Nothing there. Still nothing there. And we gotta wait for the adaptive zoom to go away. Ooh, there we go. Two biological sources. So we're definitely going there. There should still be one more body left. Where is it? really annoying when they're not on the plane of the planet, or a plane of the solar system. Oh, there we go. Hey, that's alright. We found ourselves a two-body system, which means that probably going to be some funticula, but that's alright. It's better than nothing. It's money in the bank once we get to uh, Beagle Point. So yeah, just I'm at the point now where I kind of want to just get there. As much as... Uh, I want to see how much money we've made. I, I want to, you know... I'm just... I'm kind of... Uh, uh, uh. Part of me wants to just, like, start doing jumps and just get done with it. I wonder if we could actually search out the Beagle Point. Let me... Let's put that on there now. I don't know... I don't... I don't imagine we're close enough yet, but let's see. Beagle Point. Let me light... Ooh, it's within... It's within the distance that we need. really kind of hoping that that's going to work. Seventy. There's no way. We have 73 jumps left, my friends. Hmm. Hmm. We're closer than I thought we were. <laughs> we have 73 jumps left until Beagle Point. How are we at 80 jump? Oh, well, I guess I guess we've done several jumps since we started this episode. Get our six probes down, and then we'll find out what bacteria is here. Yeah, we got, I got to start making I got to start making a decision now because we're getting pretty close to uh, Beagle Point. Which means we're going to be able to sell off all of our data and find out how much money we're going to make. Ooh, ooh, we probably just made a lot. We probably just made a lot of money. Probably just made a lot of money. I don't know. With as close with as close as we are, I kind of just want to get the jumps done now. Let's see. Where's a good place for us to land? Guess that way is probably good. Pull up to our twelve o'clock into this big, uh, big blue spot, like right in here. Orbital flight engaged. Relatively flat place to land. Hopefully we can find plenty of stratum right here in this flat spot. 
get it picked up in our database, and then uh, I think... I don't know, man. I don't know. Part of me just wants to take the next episode and just try to push all the way to Beagle Point. Make like an extra long episode out of it and just get there. But first, we need to get down to the planet here and... I find that my vertical thrusters are a little bit more powerful than my reverse thrusters. So better to just do it that way rather than risk hitting the ground. So now we gotta find some stratum. Oh, that's the bacteria. Go ahead and grab that then, since it's easy to f since it's easy to see, and there's some right here, and I have not yet found any of the stratum, so we want to grab that. Ooh, man, we're getting. I didn't realize we were so close to Beagle Point already. It, f it felt because there was like another. We had to cross an entire another sector to get to it. It felt like it was a lot further away. This has got to be like a lime-colored one. So yeah, we get the first footfall, and then if the stratum is stratum tectonicus, man, we just made a lot of money. Bacterium Cerberus Green. Alright. Trying to skim the surface and find another flat spot to land. I have shields exactly because I don't want to have to worry about little nicks and, nicks and scrapes. Come on. There we go. Grab our second bacteria and then go find, try to find some of this stratum. There's no way... That doesn't make any sense to me. Hold on a second here. That doesn't make any sense to me. How are we, like, right at the max edge of our plotting range? Right? We're at the max edge of our plotting distance. This is Beagle Point here. Says it's 19,000 light years away. Doesn't make sense to me. There's no way, it's, there's no way. Let me, I need a calculator. Hold on here. That doesn't make any sense to me. We have 19,000 light years, and then we're doing, we're jumping, we're averaging 60 um, ish, I think. Or, I don't know, what's my jump range right now? My current... My current, uh, I can do... I could do upwards of 50, but we're averaging 55. So let's divide 19,000 by 55. Yeah, that's still 345 jumps. There's something wrong with the route. We are not as close as I thought we were. <laughs> <laughs> 19,000 light years. We're jumping 55 light years ish per jump. Yeah, that doesn't. I, I, I had a something didn't feel right there. That that that's weird. We still got a long way to go. But part of me feels like I kind of want to just crush the last little. Oh, there's some of the stratum that we need. I may take some time off camera to just get some distance down so we can get uh, so we can get there because this is it's going to take us another it's going to take us another few weeks to get to Beagle Point if I continue doing it the way we've been doing it okay so that's it for the bacterium wow. 
I want to make sure it does it finishes the animation before we get back in the ship. And then we'll find our stratum tectonicus. Yeah, I got my hopes up there for a second, but then I was thinking about it, and I'm just like, no, that doesn't make any sense. We still have an entire sector to go through, and we're, it was 20,000 light seconds away, or light years away, so there's no way. I thought I saw some stratum. Huh. Are we not going to find any here? Yeah, lots of bacteria. Oh, there's some stratum. Oh, come on, get off the rocks. Oh, well, you know what? <clears throat> I'm not going to I'm not going to fight the terrain. If I can find a flatter spot, I'm going to land there. All right. <clears throat> so ideally this is going to be stratum tectonicus. We'll get two more of those and then we'll be all dandy. What's the gravity here? Oh, pretty high gravity planet. Looks like stratum tectonicus to me. Yep, that's what I thought. Another hundred, another 90 million credits. Yeah, I, the more I think about it, the more I'm thinking we, we really need to just push out to Beagle Point and get there. Get our stuff sold. See how much money we have. So we need two more of those, and then we can uh, go ahead and call it a day, I think. Because we're already past the 20-minute mark. Get over this little... Hmm. Oh, there we go. Stratum. Come on, give me the landing spot, please. There we go. Grab this one and one more, and then we can be ready to be done. Find it first. Oh, we landed right on top of it. How convenient. I love it when that happens. Okay. So I'm curious to know why it's telling me that my destination is Beagle Point, but then it's telling me we only have 79 jumps left. Oops. And this is what to get our stuff sold because I'm starting to become impatient and I'm having less uh, I'm having less uh, ability to slow down and like get things done the right the, done the right way <laughs> it's only gonna get worse the more we continue on <laughs> all right and that finishes our stratum tectonicus so hopefully you guys have been having lots of fun be sure to click that like button if you have so that the YouTube algorithm will know and send the video out to as many people as possible if you're not subscribed, please consider doing so now so that when the next video comes out, it will show up in your feed and you'll be able to watch it as soon as it becomes available. Channel members do get early access to all of my content, so be sure to click that join button. Check out the list of options available there and decide if any of those are right for you. If you'd like to contribute but aren't comfortable doing a long-term commitment, there is also the super thanks button, which will allow you to do a one-time payment. Uh, direct contributions like that are uh, very much appreciated and a critical component to helping to turn this into a full-time gig. So again, thank you very much for your time. Hope you guys have been enjoying the journey, and I'll see you for the next one.